Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to explain how to easily expose your SQL server to the internet. Uh, the tool that I'm using here enables me to create a dashboard using SQL queries, which requires me to connect to my local SQL database. So as you can see under host, I'm typing my public IP, then I'm entering the name of the database, the default port of SQL server 1433, um, and then I'm just going to type my username. and my password uh, to connect the database. And as you can see, this doesn't work. So in order to get it to work, I must expose my local SQL server to the internet. To do this, I first open my SQL server configuration manager. In SQL server network configuration, I must select the protocol of my SQL server. So in the panel on the right, I'm gonna right click on TCP slash IP, and then I'm gonna click properties. Now I'm gonna click on the tab IP addresses, scroll all the way down, and then in TC port, I'm gonna type port 1433 and click apply. And I'm just gonna click okay here, and now I restart the service. So I click SQL Server Services and make sure that SQL Server Browser is activated and launched in automatic. And now I'm gonna select my SQL Server, right click and then restart. And um, this doesn't take long. This stops the service and restarts it. Now I'm gonna allow the connection by creating a new rule on the Windows Firewall. So to do this, I open Windows Firewall with advanced security. I right click on inbound rules, and then I click on new rule. Now I'm gonna select custom, click next, and then click customize. So here I'm gonna click apply to this service, search the list and select my SQL server. And now I can click okay, and then next. Here, I'm gonna choose the TCP protocol. So I'm gonna specify port 1433 and then click next. And now I'm gonna click on these IP addresses and click add. So I'm gonna copy and paste the IP of my tool and add it to the whitelist. And after I click OK and then Next. And now I'm gonna fill in a name and then click Finish. So finally, I have to create a port forwarding rule on my router to allow the IP of the tool that I whitelisted to be redirected via port 1433 on the SQL server. So I've connected router, uh, connected to my router with the address 192.168.1.1, but keep in mind that every model is different. So to get your username and password, you can just check the manual of your IP router or contact your internet provider. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on add new IPv4 port mapping and give it a name. So I'm gonna make mine SQL. And then for protocol, I'm choosing TCP. And then for both WAN port and LAN port, I'm typing 1433. And then under destination IP, I'm typing the local IP address of my SQL server, record, and then recording the rule. Okay, so once the setup is complete, let's retry to connect the web tool to my local database. Okay, as you can see, this time it worked. And now that the connection was successful, I'm able to create my first KPI. So I'm gonna retrieve the query that, I've already that I already have in my query editor and copy and paste it into the tool. Okay, and now I click check to run the query. Okay. 
And the metric that I'm using here, you know, I'm using dollars. Um, and look, I can visualize the indicator on my dashboard. And now I'm able to play with the date range, change the data aggregation, and see the indicator by breakdowns and dimensions. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful to expose your SQL server database and connect from the internet. Thanks.